everyone. Hello, tastemakers. Tanya here. Welcome to Tanya's Tasteful Table, where we live tastefully for less. And welcome to Croctober. This is October, and this month we're doing crock pot meals. We're doing Stocktober. We're stocking up our pantry for emergencies and for easy meal preparation. And we are doing Vlogtober. I'm vlogging what's going on around here this month. Okay, so today we are making Mexican style stuffed peppers because stuffed pepper, peppers were on sale this week. You got three colored peppers for $2.49. Uh, they had a sale on ground turkey, so I got some ground turkey. So I just looked through my house and saw what do I have? I'm like, I have a lot of uh, Mexican stuff. They had a good deal on. Uh, on uh, avocado, so I'm just going to make a Mexican inspired stuffed peppers. Okay, so we have peppers, got the yellow, red, and the orange. I already sliced them. I like to slice mine in half like this, so each pepper I can get two, I can get two uh, boats out of there. Scallions. Here's some diced onions, peppers that I use from a, that I freeze, you know, when I got peppers from another, uh, another shop, another shopping trip. Uh, some taco seasoning. I have some mozzarella cheese. Just use the cheese you have, the cheese you, the cheese you like to eat. This is what I like to eat. Black beans and some salsa. So this is an opportunity to bring together things that you eat. All right, so what I do, let me put this to the side. So I take the pepper, and I like keeping the stem on. That's like a nice, a cute little garnish. I washed my peppers and I, I, like, I wash all of my vegetables in like a vinegar and a uh, baking soda water mixture, okay? And then just lay it on its side. And then you see where this dimple is or this indentation, the one that's centered. And then just cut straight down the center. And you have two, two half, a half, and just clean out these seeds. And, uh, and we're good. I'm at the sink now, cleaning out the seeds. Give it another rinse. So here are our peppers. Okay. This is just where I'm, I'm going to put them in my, in my cooker here. You can see I'm going to bring it around. The one about these, the, the uh, cores are kind of short. So see here, here's my. This is a mainstay from uh, Walmart. It was 19.98, so I don't want people to think you have to. You don't have to get those ones with the big bells and whistles. Now, people that have been using uh, crock pots, you know, they use them a whole lot. They need those heavy duty ones. Me, I've had a crock pot for another one for 34 years. Okay, so I'm gonna go on and turn this on. I have my uh, cast iron skillet. Well, I'm, I'm gonna brown my beef, I mean my uh, 
turkey in a pan. going to brown our ground turkey. It's 93% lean. So I have a little, a little olive oil in here. And of course my hands are clean. And brown that. And I let it brown a few minutes before I start crumbling it, it up. It's 93% lean. I love how lean this is. I haven't had to drain off anything. It has some nice color on it. I'm not really trying to cook it. I want to brown it get the process started. And I'm going to put some, I'm going to try to beef the flavor up of this because it is turkey. And uh, so I've got some Lipton beefy onion mix. seasoning in. It smells good. You let these uh, spices kind of bloom. They say you toast the spices. this turkey like I would you know, making any other tacos, any other taco meat. I wanted a fine dice. Good flavor. So I'm going to add these. These were frozen. They're thawed out now. turkey. I've been um, using up a lot of ground beef from my freezer and that, that is just, it's a lot. I, I always get 80-20.
just a little more of this. Let that warm up for a couple of minutes. Let me show you guys. Okay, so that's what it's looking like so far. It's looking good, smells good. It's cooked. Just gonna let the spices bloom a little bit more and then I'll come back. Okay, friends and family, tastemakers, okay, our our taco mixture is completed. I added the black beans and it tastes amazing. It's all of the flavors I like. So everything's gonna happen over here now. Okay, so here are our peppers. I'm gonna season the peppers. Put some flavor in there. Okay. here and I'll start one. And we'll do this together. Okay guys, I'm filling up our our stuffed peppers, our pepper boats here. Let me bring you guys down a little more. I have two more to go. So we're gonna stuff it. Make sure you stuff it on in there. stuffed in there well I dropped a little bit over here we don't let that go to waste my counters are are clean small with my hands and it's so liberating for me now because since I'm not catering anymore you know I still practice food safety but I don't have to like you know, be overly. And I don't have to wear gloves. And I never wore latex gloves anyway. I don't, I don't like knowing latex was in the food I was handling. So I would use vinyl, you know, all of it can be a problem. But with your your bare hands, you can always keep washing, washing them off, okay? Okay, so that's what our six peppers look, look like. We had three whole peppers, broke it down, now we have six. Okay, family. The peppers are ready to go in the crock pot because we're not I'm not quite ready to eat them yet I want them to cook all the way through and be ready for when hubby gets home okay so we have a few hours before that so that allow me to get other things done and uh, you know while dinners being cooked and heated up, I can finish doing my chores around here, and then that that's off the table. Okay, no, that's off my list. Don't they look pretty? Okay, so now I have my crock pot here. So we 
Is it plugged in? Oh my God, I'll turn this thing up to, to high just to give it a good quick start. Okay, so we're gonna plug it up. And then I spray the inside with some vegetable oil. to make sure nothing sticks. I'm gonna put some picante sauce down at the bottom. And that's all you need because you know this retains a lot of moisture. These uh these slow cookers. So Okay, so I got them all in the crock pot, in the slow cooker. And that's what I was concerned. That was one thing I was concerned about. When I cut them the way I did, I said, I'm not sure if, if all six would fit in there. If I did them the other way, just kept them like standing upright, I think at least five would have fit. But this is fine, honey. These are... One thing about it is everything's already cooked in here. So now we're just gonna put the lid on. It's on high and these will just cook and get nice, that the peppers will get nice and soft and fragrant. And okay, so we'll do that. And so about two hours I'll check them. And then at the end, I'm gonna sprinkle our cheese on top and then top them with scallions and we can top them with anything we want. Scallions, put some more salsa on there, uh, our avocado, make some guacamole. The sky's the limit. Dress it just like you would a, a regular taco, except for your, your, your vessel is a pepper instead of uh, a, a taco shell, which is high carb. Okay, so guys, hang in there with me and uh, we'll be back. I'll be back. Okay, family, I wanna show you one last time what the peppers look like. They're in the crock pot. Um, since these are gonna go for like two, two and a half hours, I wanna make sure I let you see. This is what they're really gonna look like. My phone, I'm having trouble with the phone, so in, in case it conks out, and I may not be able to show you what's going on at the end, I wanna show you now, this is what's gonna go on. If everything goes well with my device, then we'll be eating in a couple of hours. I'll be showing you, you know, how it all turns out, okay? But you guys get the gist of it.
Okay, family, it's been two hours. Oh, let me turn this TV down. Watch it, Judge, Judge Mathis. And I don't want to get a copyright strike. Let's see. took so long because one of my plants is in front of the uh, sensor. Okay, so got my little pot holders here. You always use a pot holder when you, you know, handling your, uh, handling your slow cooker. And we're going to try one. I've already sliced up my avocado. doing well. I told you guys to put some uh, salsa at the bottom. Put a little water down there too. It's okay. But the sugars in there might, might uh, burn. Okay, so here is our taco or our Mexican stuffed pepper. Let's take a taste. Let's see, where's my fork? I don't just sit around while that's cooking. I'm like, I have to clean up. And we're going to hit it with a little, some scallions. I put some mozzarella cheese on top. Use whatever, whatever cheese you keep in your house that your family likes. Scallions. See, I cut into it. A lot of moisture, not too much. Moisture from the peppers, you get so much vitamin. There's a lot of vitamin C in these peppers. Okay, it's very delicious. Guys, and if you see me in this shirt, this is my work shirt. When I'm doing work around the house, this is my favorite one. But yes, it's very delicious. Eat, eat a piece of avocado. Make a side salad. Eat this any way you want. Love it. Guys, I want to thank you so much for tuning in today. I appreciate your support. And uh, if you like my vibe, if you're new, if you like my vibe, hit subscribe and join the tribe. And hit, your, hit that bell notification so you'll be notified the next time I upload any new content. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Hubby's on his way in. Okay, bye. This was done just in time for Hubby to get some.